a very dear friend of ours, uh, certainly of mine. The Murph. Um, a nice, uh, you know, 87-year-old woman named Joanne. Mm -hmm. She needed a little yard work done. So Jim goes over there. He's going to pull some weeds. Of course, yeah. it's, it's the middle of June. It's Sweating like 100 degrees out. He's wearing off. his Bucks hoodie well, you, and his Yankees cap because, of course, yeah. he's a cartoon. <laughs> so at the end of that day, Jim takes the lady's hedge clippers the because here to get them sharpened. He says, know. yeah, I'll get them sharpened for you. No big deal. You had no intention of ever getting well, these I, things sharp. Go... You wouldn't even know where to begin to get these things I was going to call like information. Yeah, I didn't know how to really. I didn't right. Know. So you take her hedge clippers. Okay. So let's <laughs> three months later, my dear friend, Joanne is reaching out to me and she says, you know, have you heard from Jim? I, don't, I can't get a hold of Jim. And every time I do get a hold of Jim, his mom's in the hospital or he's in the hospital <laughs> or someone's in the hospital. You piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making up lies? You you stole this woman's no. hedge clippers. No, I was going to get them sharpened, but you I were not ever going to get them sharpened. Do not sit there and lie to me. No, then something like flipped and I started What's ghosting. What's the matter her. with Then you? I felt really bad cuz I'm ghosting like an elderly woman, you know, but um You're ignoring her. Yeah. She she needs to trim her hedges. Listen, her imagination is crazy. I never said no. mother. She just decided she's just like somebody's sick of your family listen, and I didn't correct her. So I don't know if that's Jeff? You told the woman your mom was in the <laughs> no! hospital. Wait, did I? Then. Oh, maybe I did. You t I've seen the text, Jim. <laughs> then you told her you She's fine now, were in the, the hospital. And so, and then I have to be like, yeah, his mom was going through some stuff. She's going to be okay. You know, yeah. Jim, yeah, we're Jim gonna was be dealing fine. with She's whatever. Watching. Now I'm lying for you. We thought I was in a really big trouble. Turned out just indigestion. We thought that um, I had you were not severe intestinal distress, like. All the wires and Jim? cords got mixed up. Jim. We're fine, though. Thank, Jim. thank God. Hmm? What's the matter with you? You were never I, in the I hospital. Your mom was never in the hospital. This poor woman forgot all about her hedge clippers, and she was more concerned with you or your mother so it worked. dying. My uh, diabolical scheme worked. Yes, it worked. But well, what's wrong right, with so you? Okay. And you know what happened in the end? Here's a little update to the oh, story that I just great. found this out. You couldn't even write this shit. It's so fucking... The lady bought new hedge clippers, probably for hundreds of dollars. Well, she's got the money, but go because on. Because she couldn't wait anymore. Yeah. She's got that. She doesn't have the money. She has more money than I do. What are you, her accountant? You probably stole her books and never brought them back. What's <laughs> the no, matter with listen, you? Listen, she's a great, she's a great, she's a good woman. Um, I really do appreciate her. Um, I'm going to sharpen those bad boys. And um, here's, here's another update. I always keep my word. That's yep. the one thing. No, you don't. You're well, a bad man. Here's okay. the fun. Oh, this is how everything's a lie with this guy. <laughs> and that's why you people now. should love him. Can I tell you something? Sure. Here's the final update to the story. Jim shows up at my place of business. I said, before you even like drive here, throw those hedge clippers in the car. I Thanks. can get them back to our good friend, Joanne. And I did just that. Okay? You're welcome. Yeah, and he did just a... that. And then as he's leaving, he says, you know what? I'm not entirely sure these are Joanne's. <laughs> I just, these might be my mom's. I just took them out of the garage. <laughs> I don't know. So if happened. we can get to the end of the story here. Yeah. He stole his mom's head well, clippers no, now and gave them to an elderly stole woman. Stole is a harsh word. They weren't Joanne's. <laughs> so now your mom doesn't have any. Oh, Joanne doesn't have hers. Yeah. Nothing got sharpened. And, and you're just. As I mentioned in the garage, no good deed goes unpunished. I tried to help the poor lady. And all of a sudden, I'm like the devil incarnate. So you know what? He, I'm uh listen, he had no intention of helping this woman. He just wanted to be the hero and leave. <laughs> well, I wanted to leave. You stole her hedge clippers. You <laughs> lost her hedge clippers. What a dick. You told her you're in and out of the hospital. <laughs> and then and then to end everything, I don't know how I you feel stole about Chris K, like, your sweet mother, uh, you know, and my ex, you stole wait a second. her wait. hedge clippers. Yeah. Um well, like I said, stole is a very it's a big word, and I don't agree with that well, use of it. You're never gonna get those back. <laughs> <laughs> Who uses hedge clippers? I've never even heard of these things, and all of a sudden, everybody has like two of them. That's not the I don't. Point. Well, That's okay. Not the but... point. What did you do with the old lady's hedge clippers? I don't even know. They're probably like in uh, somebody's trunk somewhere. Joanne, if you're listening, I, I love, love you, and I'm sorry. But I miss you. I miss you. Oh yeah, I miss you too. All right, we. <laughs> I'm gonna stop by one of these days and fix up those weeds of yours. By the way, this is derailed. <laughs> this is Jim, and I just need the people to I got know. Got you, babe. Yeah.